From time to time, I'll watch content by someone on the spectrum of autism. For instance, there was a channel simply called Asperger's Syndrome with a TM mark hosted by an older man named Ken, who has a video on what he refers to as the neurotypical hive mind. At the center of the hive mind, this seeming instinctive mode of being is a power struggle, with everyone trying to claw their way to the top. Well, seemingly everyone, as although he acknowledges that not all people on the spectrum of autism are the same, from his experience, mind being the same, we are not a part of this hive mind. One thing acknowledged by many autistic people online is that when they go to work, they specifically want to focus on their job and have next to no interest in engaging in things such as office politics, small talk, etc. This has also been my experience in the workplace, not to be better than the other workers, but because of the way my psychology functions, and in line with the idea that autism is the extreme male brain, I have significantly more interest in things than people. When you do this, however, people don't necessarily take kindly to it. Now, to expand on Ken's assertions, this hive mind mode of being will vary from person to person. This especially being the case with those higher in the dark triad, as they will be more prone towards ruthlessly clawing their way to the top. For instance, with the impulsivity of psychopaths, if they want something from you, they may just resort to taking it by using violence. Someone who is Machiavellian, on the other hand, would use some alternative form of manipulation, perhaps appealing to someone's ego if it works, or engaging in pseudo-compassionate behavior. In line with the video, this perpetual power struggle is one reason people on the spectrum don't take interest in interacting with people, and this especially being the case with dark triad traits having increased to such a significant extent. Again, I'll state that this is not at all to say that being on the spectrum means that you won't claw your way to the top. Some of the people in the hive mind are so desperate to get over on others in order to acquire desired resources that they resort to a pretty long list of manipulation tactics. For instance, and this is one reason I ask people to share my content, I have a suspicion that if you took 100 channels, in the case of the ones providing novel concepts, there would be higher rates of people somewhere on the spectrum, or at least with some form of psychological variance, which brings about a new way of looking at things. All too often, larger content creators will take these novel concepts without giving credit and pass it off as their own. As they are taken from smaller channels, no one notices, and it is assumed that the idea was theirs. This is one of many ways people attempt to get to the top. Alternatively, in the case of women who view their interactions with men as a power struggle, they may resort to seeing how much they can get a particular man to do for them. This can actually have a competition aspect to it amongst a group of women. In both cases, there is a desire to exploit others in order to accomplish some form of goal. But what if your psychology inherently doesn't function this way? Well, you would probably not want to interact with people as they're constantly engaging in self-serving, manipulative behaviors. This is essentially where I, as well as many other people, end up. As with Ken, a desire to be outside of the hive mind given the varying degrees to which people desperately pursue getting to the top by whatever means necessary. Interestingly, I came to two realizations as of recently. One, that my channel was actually doing a good thing. It never really hit me until about a week ago, but I do think that I'm doing the right thing by providing information on the relationship between men and women, much of it having to do with how men are manipulated, to interested people, and that I'm actually where I'm supposed to be. Two, that although I'm on the spectrum, for whatever reason, perhaps as a beneficial residual effect of the years I spent drinking alcohol, I possess the ability to pinpoint manipulative tendencies and explain them to some extent. This is actually something that I'll be focusing on more in the future, as the sooner you become aware of these behaviors, the sooner you can discard the source. This hive mind, if you want to view it that way, this perpetual power struggle dominated by those higher in the dark triad is an interesting thing, and especially if you're someone who doesn't have much interest in being a part of it, nor even harbor psychology prone towards this manipulative mode of being. It is surely one reason I don't like being around people, and I think many people who listen to my content are looking for a way out, if not a way to better navigate it.